Please provide a warm welcome for your testing. And now, and now, please provide a warm welcome for your sensational MC, Sid Roth. Morning, Greenwood. Come on, y'all do better than that. I know it's still the morning. Good morning, Greenwood. Yes, sir. That's what we like to see. Well, everyone, welcome to the 2023 First Robotics Competition and this year's challenge, Charged Up, presented by Haas. This season, First Energized, presented by Qualcomm, challenges teams to reimagine the future of sustainable energy and power their ideas forward. Qualcomm understands innovative engineering, creative problem solving, and the future leaders and innovators all start with a spark of brilliance. They start with you. A big thanks to Qualcomm for helping to ignite those sparks and for investing in the future. And we're very excited to partner with our charged up season partner, Haas. Not only are they one of the leading CNC manufacturers in the world, but they are also a, f they know a few things, excuse me, about complex competitive machines. First CEO Chris Moore recently visited their North American racing headquarters and let's check out Chris's experience. Welcome to the 2023 FIRST Robotics Competition season, Charged Up, presented by Haas. I'm FIRST CEO Chris Moore. And I'm Gunther Steiner, the team principal of Haas F1 team. A big thanks to the Gene Haas Foundation for all their support this year. Just like your robots, our cars have to be quick and powerful, and both are built on the same engineering principles. And like your F1 team, our teams have to build a new machine each and every year. But we go a step further, and we even change the season challenge. Oh, fudge. That's crazy and impressive, Chris. Whether it's F1 or FIRST Robotics competition, it's teamwork that's important. I know a little bit about teamwork, Chris. So let me add that regardless of how you and your robots finish at this competition, the real win is working together toward a common goal, having perseverance and building relationships along the way. When you do that, everybody wins. Best of luck to all the teams at the competition. Guys, buckle up. It's going to be a fast ride. A big thanks to Charged Up Season sponsor Haas. And now I can officially welcome you all to the first Indiana Robotics District event here in Greenwood. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the outgoing president of First Indiana Robotics, Renee Becker Blau, for a very special announcement. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. So, there we go. I started, I moved to Indiana in July of 2023. No, 2013. Add in some extra years on there. And I am so excited today to be able to introduce the incoming Finn president, Ashley Robbins, to you. And so, hang on, hang on. We got some bio to read. So, Ashley joins the Finn family with significant experience in nonprofit management, donor development, content creation organization communications, volunteer management, youth programming, and fundraising. It's like she has it all. She attended Purdue University. There we go, all right. Standard pause, all right, excellent. Um, for both her undergraduate degree, earning a Bachelor of Arts in Professional Writing, and her graduate degree, a Master's of Science in Communication with a concentration in Strategic Communication and PR. So 
So thankfully, Ashley is familiar with the FIRST program. She spent significant time working with FRC Team 2197 Las Pumas when she was the Enrichment Program and Coordinator for New Prairie United School Corporation. And I didn't know it then, but a number of years ago, New Prairie did come up as one of the school districts in the state of Indiana that had kindergarten through high school first programming. And it turns out, Ashley was the one that wrote a lot of those grants to make that happen. That's pretty cool. All right, most recently, she served as the Director of Foundation Operations for Sigma Tau Gamma Fraternity, where she served as the primary point of contact between the foundation and donors, or potential donors. And so I am excited to welcome her onto the field today and, and uh, essentially, you know, hand the baton, throw the baton, you know, over to her and to watch where she takes you. Thank you. Good morning. Um, that was quite the introduction from Renee. I didn't realize we would run through my entire resume, um, but very exciting. Uh, thrilled to be here today at Center Grove. Thrilled to see competition between these teams, but more excited to see the work that you've done and the way that you work together and the great collaboration that happens here between all of our teams. So. Please know, as I transition into this role, I hope to work very closely with all of our teams, get to know you. I welcome you this weekend to introduce yourselves to me. I may not remember your name. I'm meeting a lot of faces, but I promise I want to know more about you and the work you're doing and your team. So please feel free to come say hello to me. We do have president um, office hours, so there will be a chance for you to come say hi. I'd love to hear about you, so please feel free to take advantage of that. Um, I'm just really excited to get involved and see all the great work we do. I'm fortunate to have uh, a great team of volunteers and a great staff, and I know that a good leader is made better by the people they work with, and I'm really grateful to know that I'm coming into a team of people who love FIRST and are dedicated to this program and the state of Indiana, so really excited for that. Um, but I also think we would be uh, amiss to not recognize the person who's been doing this work for the last 10 years. So I would really love if everyone could give another round of applause to Renee, who honestly has done so much for this program and who uh, none of this would be possible without. So please, please, thank you. over a decade of work, and as a member of FIRST programs, she knows from the bottom of her heart, and she does this tirelessly. And I know that the transition is hard for her, and I know that she is, is leaving Indiana, but is not leaving our Finn family. So, thank you so much. Thank you, Ashley. We're very excited to have you as a member of our hashtag Finn family. This event would not be possible without our gracious hosts here within the Center Grove Community School Corporation. So please give a warm welcome to School Board President Scott Alexander. Good morning and welcome to Center Grove High School. I'm excited to welcome everyone here to the first robotics competition. We're excited to have you, we're excited to host you. First and foremost, I understand and recognize the amount of hours and effort that go into building these great robots and, and great machines and the teamwork and the sportsmanship that goes with this. And it's a credit to all the parents who are sitting here watching their kids. So give yourselves a big round of applause to all the parents that are here. And before the day is over, to all the kids that are here, give mom and dad a hug for all the effort and support that they give you. Looking forward to a great competition. Welcome to Center Grove. And is there anything we can do, please contact one of our first um, members and we'll get it taken care of for you. Welcome. Thank you so much. This event also wouldn't be possible without the support of our presenting partner, the United States Air Force. 
Speaking with us today is Second Lieutenant Natalie P. McGowan. She graduated from the University of Southern California's Air Force ROTC Detachment 060. She received the Order of the Laurel and Palm Award and received a Bachelor of Arts in International Relations, Global Business, and Spanish. She's currently a Gold Bar recruiter for the Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps and is based out of the 338th 8th, excuse me, Recruiting Squadron at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's an absolute pleasure to be able to be here today representing the U.S. Air Force and to really recognize all of your hard work over the past year leading up to this competition. So I am Lieutenant Natalie McEwen, originally from Los Angeles, California, currently serving as a scholarship and admissions advisor for the United States Air Force, focusing on ROTC and the Air Force Academy. The US Air Force is a proud sponsor of the first robotics competition, and we could not be more excited about this year's theme, First Energize. The same ingenuity and the same innovation that you pour into building the robots that you're competing with today is what we value in the United States Air Force. Our airmen are dedicated to solving the problems of the future, just like you are today. From developing ways to reach incredible speeds, unmatchable stealth technology, and to reuse our space aircraft, we ourselves strive to push boundaries. These are all the same things that are required of you to take part in such an exciting and educational sport like FIRST Robotics. The key to everything that we accomplish within the United States Space Force and Air Force accomplishes it through teamwork. Whether it's by working in a team to fly a remotely piloted aircraft, launching a defense satellite, or by preventing or cyber attacks, it takes a whole team of airmen and guardians to ensure our mission success. That same amount of teamwork which you guys need to be able to win this year's first robotics competition. Parents, teachers, and coaches, you guys have set the example for this generation to be able to innovate in new ways that we've never seen before. In 2022, we brought teachers and mentors to Eglin Air Force Base for the first leadership experience. This year, we will continue that tradition by hosting another first leadership experience. Through lectures, team building exercises, and tours of the local Air Force Base, the three-day experience gives you all the opportunity to understand what the Air Force has to offer for your students. I invite you all to apply for this special first experience on the FIRST website and be part of this year's experience taking place in July. Thank you again for all for having me today. I'm very excited to see all of your hard work come to fruition today's competition. Together, let's aim to push those boundaries, continue to innovate, and find new ways to develop new technology. So good luck today in your final matches and competitions. Aim high. Thank you so much. And we do have one more very special guest joining us today for this podtastic event that's happening this weekend. Please welcome Grady from the University of Indianapolis right there. And today, Grady's here to celebrate you all, but we did want to take some time and celebrate Grady. It's Grady's birthday today. I, on the count of three, let's go ahead and sing happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy uh, Thank you all for hel helping us celebrate Grady's birthday. Now it's time to recognize our volunteers in the blue shirts. Please welcome the judges led by judge advisor and first alum, Jessica Koberski. The judges want, go give it up, let's hear it for them. They're gonna get to know you over this week. The judges want to hear your stories, your successes and challenges. This is a distinguished group 
from companies and organizations where you may want to work someday. So go ahead, as they're getting to learn you and your teams better, go ahead and get to know them better and get to start networking. Judges, thank you so much for your time and efforts. You've got a difficult task with this competitive group of teams. So once again, thank you. There's another group of volunteers you'll get to know here on the playing field. Their job is to ensure fair play, to help you play within the rules of the game, and to help all teams compete like crazy while remembering their gracious professionalism. Their rulings are final, and unfortunately, no video reviews. So please welcome your referees, led by head referee and first alum, Logan Byers. Along with fair competition, safety is a priority at first. We want you to have fun and be safe at the same time. Helping us achieve that, please welcome our safety manager and also first alum, Gali Velasquez. Here at the event, we'd like to make sure you and your team have a safety plan. Mentors, please communicate your safety plan and a designated meeting, please, with your team. And congratulations to this year's Safety Animation Award winners, Team 836, the Robo Bees from Hollywood, Maryland, and will play their winning animation tomorrow during our playoffs. There's only one award which recognizes an individual student and not a team. It's the Dean's List Award. Dean's List nominees, please stand, and now, please stand. Yeah, there you go. And you're already doing it, but keep on giving them a big round of applause. Thank you so much to our Dean's List finalists. Thank you for being such terrific leaders. And as always, let's keep gracious professionalism a part of everything you do here at the competition. During the award ceremonies this weekend, we'll be recognizing the nominees for the Woody Flowers Finalist Award, named in honor of the creator of gracious professionalism, Woody Flowers. The Woody Flowers Finalist Award nominees are mentors who have been nominated by their team. As you know, mentors and coaches are critical to the first experience, so thank you to all mentors. Please give your mentors a round of applause. You set the culture at first and are part of the far-reaching support system we've built for students around the world who are realizing their dreams. You know that many of you also mentor others, FIRST programs, FIRST LEGO League, and FIRST Tech Challenge. So once again, a big thank you to all the mentors and coaches for your dedication and efforts on behalf of all FIRST programs. And teams, if you're looking for some additional mentor support, the first mentor network sponsored by National Instruments has over 800 mentors ready and willing to share their skills and talents to assist your team. Create a team or mentor profile and get connected today. All the details are on the FIRST website. You can check out the other FIRST programs on display here this weekend up in the fitness center. Before we set the robots in action, let's take a moment to commit ourselves to a world where everyone feels safe and lives free of fear. At first, we join all those around the world who are calling for peace and safety. And now, please, if you're able to please stand, take off any of your hats, as Brenna Peratt will be singing the United States National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in there gave proof through the night 
night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Brenna. With that, team, are you energized? Are you charged up? With that, let's get this competition going.